the recording process with Colliding Grace was, uh, was an awesome one. There were just so many uh, amazing things that we encountered with God as we just really thought through these songs and prayed through them. Like the last CD, we never sat down and said, hey, today, let's write a song. It was literally just an overflow of something that was just happening in people's lives. And being able to bring that into the studio and have an experience with amazing producers and, and engineers and people working with these songs and making them something that we would never even dream of. The Bible says to, uh, to sing a new song, uh, to, to, to publish your works among many nations. And I believe that as, a, as a, just a band, as a worship team, as we've come together and just had so many amazing people uh, just be on stage and being, just doing life with them, God has just developed these songs that I, that I believe are leading the charge to, uh, to what God is doing in our church. You know, the vision of Pastor Bill is to reach the lost and to change South Texas, and we believe this is a soundtrack that goes along with that. That, uh, that tells the story of what we're doing and, and that people will remember from now on. We are reaching out across this city, across this world, to make an impact and truly make a difference on the world, uh, just one person at a time. With Shake the Nation reaching people via radio and, and Pastor Bill's te- uh, broadcast going across the world, we believe that whatever we can do to reach the lost, we're going to do it. We're excited to be a part of Bay Area Fellowship with such a passionate vision to change the lost and whether that be from the streets of Corpus Christi to the streets of Haiti, we are a movement that is moving through this, through, through this country and beyond, a movement that will eventually change this entire world. I mean, we all desire change, we all desire uh, hope, we all desire a future, we all desire to see the world change, but the world can't change until we change. You know, and with songs like God of the Impossible, uh, where, where, where we really just come into a real raw state of just saying, you know, there's truly strength when we're weak. Truth, we, we actually find hope and we find our, our strength. Um, you know, in the chorus where it just cries out saying, Just take my heart and make it whole. I surrender to the God of the impossible. Those are the, the lyrics that God was really crying out to us uh, in this song and in this whole CD. Colliding grace and the whole process, if I could sum it up, these are words of submission inspired by our Savior at the Garden of Gethsemane. It's a place where Christ's deity and humanity come to grips with the agony of the cross, where he ultimately proclaims, let your will be done. Um, Knowing the cost, knowing the pain, knowing what was coming with it, he knew it was worth it. Um, We are inspired by Christ who was faced with an agonizing death, but yet he dies to his flesh um, and his desire to to get out uh, when it gets hard. And I think if you look at just the overall tapestry of these songs, it flows with that. You know, even though we're faced with life and faced with issues and struggles, Um, let's not try to get out of it, let's push through because God's glory is worth it and the people's lives are worth it and if this CD can change one life then it's been worth writing all of it.